Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This week, we're back on our EVC-10. If you noticed, I'm not sitting in a completely raw metal cab anymore. This week, we're getting ready to prime, paint, wrap everything, get it back together so we can start final assembly and wiring this thing. Hopefully, next week, we'll be able to get this thing out on the road and get a rip. First step up is we're gonna do some body work to all the panels on the truck and spray some primer on the cage and the cat. So next step is we're gonna spray the whole cab with a satin black. I got the whole cage primed, this back wall. We're gonna use this black trim satin paint from Spray Max. It's a 1K up on the firewall, the floorboards. That way we can wrap it. If any moisture does get trapped in between the surfaces, our metal does not rust. Let's get to spraying. Hoo, hoo, hoo. It is time to dismantle the truck. We're gonna shred this thing apart, rip it on down the clown town, and then let the boys paint it. Mr. Rolls, what do you think? I, uh, I think we have a lot of work left, so let's get to it. <laughs> She's getting stripped clean. The next is the battery pack, and then we gotta start finishing up all the welds. So as Mikey said, it is time to get to it and do it. Well, when we built all this stuff, you know, we started hammering it down and there's one little bolt under here that's underneath the pedal box and we never made a panel to get to it. So I got to cut this pretty paint that might do. All right, now that she's in the air, we are free to go ahead and finish everything up. We're gonna have to clean it, and then we're welding away. And hit every little thing that could give us a problem in the future. Hammer down, weld booze. All right. single stage paint. I don't have to go back and clear it. Big thanks to Valspar and a big thanks to our boy Rich and Dusty over at Glue Products. Great dudes, they know a lot about auto body industry. They supply fiberglass, resins. We got our carbon fiber from them. Check them out, we'll put the link in the description below. Now that we have both of the motors out of the truck, I'm gonna be working on the front inverter. We have some custom pieces to make this thing remote mounted in the front of the truck. JC Customs machined out this awesome billet plate. That's gonna be the front half of the inverter and it's gonna allow the bus bars to come out so we can power the motor. And then also the cooling system to also come out and go into the motor side. This is the main board that we've replaced to give us control of the inverter. Without this, we wouldn't be able to control it or swap it into any other vehicle. This board is manufactured by Zero EV UK. Here, this is a little Bluetooth module that's gonna allow us to communicate with the board, make parameter changes, like the percentage of regen that we can use, different strategies for power delivery. I have a temp sensor here, another temp sensor here, a small CAN bus wire here that I have to reroute up to the inverter. The inverter on this side is gonna be capped off. I drilled out a hole through the case so I can get the wires coming back that way. I could have came out the front here, but it's better off going this way so I have a little bit more extra length instead of wrapping around this way. So 
all plumbed up. Now our remote inverter has cooling going to it from the motor. It's gonna flow in, up, and then back out. We got the chassis and the cab back on the lift. I say we, but it was me. We got all our parts ready to go. Everything's painted, coated, polished. We got our subframes blinging. Battery pack is ready to go. Motors ready. Once the boys get in, we're gonna start tackling this and getting this thing back together. So I used to go to school for my bolt degree and they call me Bolt Boy for a few months because I was the best at putting bolts on. They called you Nut Man, Donnie, and that was for a completely different reason. <laughs> So my homie stopped by from uh, Mamesi Auto Design, Luciano. Luciano owns a local tent and wrap place. They do some amazing work, a lot of exotics in there. We're just going over the situation with our prep work. He thinks he can make it work to get us at least to the show. And then when we come back from the show, we'll just probably pull it off and paint it. He brought over some color samples, which we're about to look at and get this truck wrapped. That, that looks sick. You like that one the best? All right, so while Momessi's here finishing up the wrap on our firewall, Khalil and I are getting ready to throw down this sound deadening membrane from Resto Mod Air. They're putting out a great product. This is basically to insulate the truck from heat and also from sound. We're throwing our EV truck so it doesn't sound like a tin can when we're rolling around. Since there's no engine noise, we'll be hearing every little rattle. Like Resto Mod says, don't go naked. trying to think of a nice way to cut our little holes in our membrane. And I said, hey, why don't we take a little piece of pipe, sharpen it up, and we're gonna use this as our cutting die. Cha-ching. Now that the rear subframe is installed and all the suspension components are bolted to it, I can start installing all the brake lines. I got all these lines that pre-bent. Some of them still need to get flared on the ends. Some of them need some tube nuts. And I still need to make a couple more to join everything together. I got my 90 degree fitting on my tab, plumbed the line this way over the subframe back down here. I have a union right here so we can split it and then it's gonna run one more section right here straight down into the T fitting that's right here so two more lines to bend and the rear section will be completed now we're gonna move ourselves forward to the forward brake lines and uh, we already routed them, so this is a pretty easy layout. So we'll get these in and our brake system is done. All right. We're about to pull the truck off the lift, so we have a little bit more room. We just finished plumbing all the brake lines. We need to get the front suspension on it. The front end of the truck is starting to come together. The suspension, the steering components, the steering column, also these massive 16 inch rotor, six piston caliper, Willwood brakes. Still waiting for the full size radiator and the intercoolers to go in the front. So for now, I'm gonna move to the back, install some of the electrical components so I can know what kind of space I have to work around for the cooling system install.
We have the radiator mounted into the rear. I have some fittings that are gonna help me kind of connect the dots to where I wanna go. I have my factory Tesla water pump mounted up here. I don't think it's gonna be fitting the way I want it to, so I think I'm gonna change to this bracket here. It's a little bit different. It'll point it in a different direction. So I'm gonna try to get this inlet pointed towards here a little bit more and then my outlet pointing this way which is going to go straight down into here changing that will make it a little bit easier so we start here at the radiator obviously inlet into the pump outlet feeding to the inlet of the motor so motor side first, and then also down to the battery for the electronics. And then through the penthouse, comes up and out of the penthouse into this connection here. And then the other line is coming out right down there, right underneath the axle. Comes up right here, boom. Those two T right here, come back into here, travel up. All the hot fluid goes back into the radiator, cools, and the process repeats. Underneath here, we have the stock connectors into the battery pack so this is going to be the feed line to the front but you see these style little guys here everything looks really good and it's going to function great so on to the front i have to make this new radiator position work tim made this bracket now all i'm going to do is i'll cut in the plasma table our little design here and then go ahead and weld them onto our new brackets Wrapping up the front radiators, two Mishimoto heat exchangers right here and right here are gonna be cooling the battery pack. It wasn't easy getting the adaption from the factory battery connections into the AN hoses that we're using. So we've figured out a solution. We have a Y down here coming out of the outlets and that's gonna feed straight into our heat exchanger here. Then we're also running the return lines out of the battery, which are these guys coming all the way through the cab of the truck and those are gonna be running into the other side of the cooler. We have a lot of hose. Got holes. So what I'm gonna do now is actually design a clamp that holds all three for the bottom, and I wanna tie those together and get those to the frame and tighten everything up. Just use all these clamps, so I'll be out of aluminum. So everything's cut, it's just a clamshell. It goes over each line, and our little end caps come over so we can bolt it all together, put some nice stainless hardware, and we have ourselves a custom S2S cooling line cable holder. I went ahead and made this to go to the frame. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put some rib nuts in this thing. Hope I can squeeze in that tight spot, bolt her in, and then that part will be done. All right, the time has come. It's Saturday morning at S2S Speed Shop, and the boys from Momessi Auto Design have got their goodies, and they are getting ready to wrap this cab. This is a big step for me, because once we do this, then we can start assembling the rest of our truck. Our whole front end could go on which means lighting and grill and all the electrical stuff. They got a lot of work, and once they're done, we got a lot of work. I think this is something pretty cool that's fascinating me, so I figured I would take a second and let Corey explain a little something about this tape that he's got. So it's actually called a knifeless tape. It's got this little filament, like a nylon filament, and you can kind of see it there. Yeah. What you do is anywhere you have vinyl film overlapping each other, you can just go ahead and put it wherever you want. It gives you a really clean edge for those who aren't gifted with drawing in straight lines. And the other piece of vinyl comes over, and you rip it, which I'll show you now. You break it, you get a nice pull like that, and you're left with the string that was inside, and then you pull the excess off. You get the tape out from underneath, and when you press it back down, you're left with a seam that's clean, straight, and not very noticeable. 
am here on the scene. Fenders didn't fall out, so we good. If you have an exotic car or Boca Raton, you probably brought it here for tint or wrap. I told you everything around Momesial design was exotic. Look at this guy. Oh, hey buddy, what's his name? Max. Max? What's up, Max? Standing here wearing this t-shirt. Y'all check that out. I don't know if we've told you all the name of this truck yet. S2 Esla. If you guys like this shirt, we don't have them on our website yet, but if you want one, DM us or check us out on Instagram. Maybe put in a little order. I don't know, you might want to grab one of these. That is a wrap. Yeah, I said it, a wrap. And we got all of our stuff back from Messi, wrapped and ready to go. We got it all back together and it is looking like a truck again. We got all of our vibrant lines laid out for the coolant system. It is looking clean and fresh. You also saw us put down our sound dinner from RestoMod, because this week coming up, we're getting ready to put the interior in, get all the wiring done lighting, fans, and then hopefully this thing will be ripping next week. So we are excited here at S2S. Thank you for subscribing. Check out this new shirt too. We do have that S2S gear. Thank you and please support our, our cause here. Support the content. Hit the link in the bio and, and all that fun stuff. Damn. I'm sure he'll cut everything together. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. We really appreciate you guys. Support the content. Check out our website. Buy some merch. You know I used to go to Juilliard for dance for six years? It's all about the hips. It's all about the nips. Just gonna let it flow.